So another question, how does this potential Supreme Court ruling impact us here in Texas? According to the Texas Tribune, it would virtually eliminate abortion access in the state. Last year, the state legislature passed a so-called trigger law. This would go into effect 30 days after the U.S. Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Wade. It would make it a felony to perform an abortion in Texas. The law would make an exception only to save the life of the pregnant patient or if they face a substantial risk. Doctors could face life in prison and fines of up to $100,000 if they break the law. Well, from D.C. to all across our country, comments have quickly been coming in when it comes to their responses to this first draft opinion from the U.S. Supreme Court and signed back in February by Justice Samuel Alito. Now, one of the very first local remarks came from Harris County Judge Lena Ildango. She said, quote, as Harris County Judge, I must look out for my constituents' health and safety. If Roe is overturned, Texas anti-abortion trigger law takes effect, making abortions a felony. Women will seek back alley procedures that killed so many before the court recognized abortion as a right, end quote. Meantime, State Attorney General Ken Paxton also weighing in, tweeting in part, quote, I hope that Supreme Court of the United States returns the question of abortion where it belongs, the states. This is why I led a 24 state coalition in support of Mississippi's law banning them after 15 weeks, end quote. Now, in response to this leaked document, a group of Houstonians are now gathering tonight to protest the potential repeal of Roe versus Wade. The protest will be on the steps of City Hall from 6 till 7 p.m. tonight. Organizers are part of the group Socialist Alternative. You can find more on this issue right now on our website, CW39.com.